Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Howard Chu and I am an Olympic badminton player for Team USA. In today's video, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to get the logo onto the strings of your racket. I'm sure you've seen it on a badminton racket or tennis racket and it's actually very simple and you can even do it at home. You're gonna need your stencil cutout and you're going to need your ink. I have here with me the standard red ink and black ink from Yonix. And it's really important to have different colored ink because depending on what color strings you have, you're gonna need an ink that's gonna be visible on the strings. For example, I use Aerobite string and my string is actually red. So the red ink is just not gonna show up on the strings and I have to use a black ink. Before we get started, I actually recommend getting some sort of paper or cardboard like this so that you can kind of just put it on your table or working space because sometimes the ink, it does leak through and you don't want to make a mess of where you're working. You can start on either side of the racket uh, and you're just basically going to place the stencil onto the strings. You want to make sure that it's facing the right way uh, and not upside down. Here you'll see that this says actually uh, top of the frame center. And so I usually like to line it up with the top of the frame here so that the logo isn't too low on the racket. Sometimes the ink will dry up a little bit. And so what you'll want to do is you can just dab it on the side of your cardboard or ink just to make sure that you have the ink ready. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down the stencil and I'm basically going to apply light brushes in the stenciled area and make sure you're holding the stencil tight so that it's not moving while you're making these brushes. While you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're not squeezing too hard so that not too much ink comes out or else you'll get a ton of blotches at the intersections of the strings and so you can just kind of go with these light brushes like this and continue to follow the stencil and make sure you're holding it down tight like this there you go this side is done it does dry pretty quick but you can kind of just wave it in the air a little so it dries and so when we flip it you want to make sure it's lined up so the circles are here same thing we'll line it up on the top and we'll continue to do light brushes don't want to squeeze too much ink out. Fun fact for you guys. So most equipment sponsors, they actually require their sponsored players to put the logos on their rackets so that the people watching can identify and easily tell what brand of racket that they're playing with. So here, as you can see, it's actually clause seven in my contract and it says use of Yonix logo on strings. Okay. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys so much for the support so far. If you haven't already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, drop a thumbs up, and comment below on what you guys wanna see next. Peace.